right? What is dE by dt? The change in electric field with time. Changing electric field with time. So when the electric field is changing with time, some people call this one is the conduction current, IC. Conduction current. Then there is no conduction current here. There is no conduction current here. So this current is actually the displacement current. If dE by dt is current, then dd by dt is current. So this current we call this epsilon naught A times epsilon naught dE over dt this current is called the displacement current clear look here if i move this a to d like a is here if i move it so this is the current per unit area which current the displacement current Displacement current was a misnomer given to this thing. Misnomer means a wrong name. It's not a displacement current. Clear? But we will utilize the terminology here that this is the displacement current, ID. And now how we can say this ID, how we can write its magnitude. Look here. I am now removing the charges and you will see here that whether electric field is changing or not. Let's say the very first charge will came in here. Then a negative charge is appearing here. There is some electric field. The next instant of time another charge will come in and here electric field change from its previous value with time another charge another here another 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 so you see that during the charging of of the capacitor electric field is continuously varying with time and the continuous variation of electric field with time we said it is also called current Right? Changing means someone has produced that current. That's why it has came in here. Because here the current or the magnetic field was exactly the same as here. Then who supplied that current from this plate to this plate? That current is actually supplied by the varying electric field. And this current we call the displacement current. Electric displacement, so displacement current. And we can see this same thing from the Gauss's law as well. We know. Now, the continuity equation you will understand here as well. We know that the continuity equation is called the divergence of the charge density, our current density is equal to minus curly rho over curly t. Forget about the minus sign for a while, whether rho is increasing or decreasing. So, over here, when we say minus sign, it means rho is decreasing with time. So, in order to compensate the decrease of the due to the derivative, we write minus sign. We don't have this issue here. Rho is increasing with time. The charge density is increasing with time, so we don't need this minus sign here. Clear? Curly rho by curly t. Now what the Gauss's law is telling us, divergence of E is equal to rho over epsilon naught. So from here I am putting the value of rho here. And Divergence of J 
current density will diverge when the charge density will not remain constant in time. Here the charge density is not remaining constant with time. So it means current will diverge. Clear? Put the value curry by curry t and rho is equal to epsilon naught times divergence of e. So rho is equal to epsilon naught divergence of e. Now if I write the divergence outside is this one, this del is the space derivative. So it has nothing to do with time. So I can take it out and write this thing is this is the divergence of epsilon naught 30 e over 30 t. Curly E over curly T. And let's go back to our minus sign. If I want to put the minus sign here, then the minus sign will come here as well. And that minus sign will come here as well. I cannot move this one on this side. The minus will not make any difference. It is just your reference whether rho is increasing or decreasing. So here, divergence I can write of j right plus this one will come in here. Epsilon naught and Curly E over curly T is equal to zero. Can I write like this? Just taking means moving this one on this side and taking the divergence common here. So divergence of J plus this term. What was the result of J? J was actually equal to the, this J was the conduction current due to I C this was J. But this term is actually coming in J due to the displacement current. Electric field is varying there. Electric field is varying between the plates. And it is also causing current. And our G is actually modified. When you are divergence, this is now our modified G, which I will write like this, let's say, for example. The continuity equation J here, this is only the conduction current. I will now write it like this J, this symbol, just to differentiate it from this one. Because the conduction I have written like this. When I include this term in this one, J will be equal to J conduction plus J displacement current. Then such J implies divergence of such a J will be equal to zero. You know. When divergence of such a J is equal to zero, means there will be no disturbance in rho in time. Clear? So it means the conduction current is accompanied by the displacement current as well. And if we include this one, if we include this one, then we will have a different form of max of Ampere's law, which is mu naught j. Now this j will be replaced by jc plus jd. And I can write the Ampere's law is del cross b. And this is equal to mu naught times jc. And jc is 
actually equal to J, the earlier J, plus mu naught times the JD, and the JD is equal to epsilon naught curry E over curry T. And this form is called the modified form of, and there is now, this term is called the displacement current. And you came to know that how this displacement current is responsible for <laughs> continuous propagation of that current even through a broken wire. Clear? So here, earlier the Maxwell was calling this one dis displacement current not due to, you can say, the mechanism we discussed here. At that time, the concept of ether was there. And he was actually putting this thing that it is the responsibility of ether to move, means displace this current from here to there. So his approach or his calculation was right, but his you can say the name is released, the understanding of this one wasn't that much right. But the calculation was right, and now you can write this thing in you can write this thing in integral form. What it will be? It will be B dot B L is equal to mu naught. I am closed, mu naught I am closed, plus mu naught, epsilon naught, and curly by curly t, and E will be converted is this will delta cross V dot D A. So it will be converted into E dot D A, and here will be curly by curly T. So E dot D A. Now again we come to this portion and you see here the conduction current is contributing here. So del cross B is non-zero because conduction current is there. At this point we are having the conduction current but the displacement current is zero. At this point, this one is not zero while the conduction current is equal to zero. And your del cross B will be again non zero. But this gives us another intuition. The things which Faraday told here that a change in B is inducing electric field. Here we say that a change in electric field is inducing magnetic field. So the electric and magnetic fields, they are the result of the change of each other. And from here, Maxwell actually said that electromagnetic wave is nothing but the variation of electric and magnetic field and they are generating each other. How quickly they are generating each other at the speed of light. So we say that their propagation is their generation and they are propagating at the speed of light. All electromagnetic waves. Okay? That's done. So electrodynamics started from here. When it is here, then it is electrodynamics. It is the charge which is causing the magnetic field. You got it? It is charge variation which is causing the magnetic field, which is causing current. And that current is result is causing magnetic field. Clear? So it is now all you can say. The magnetic field here we got one intuition, 
then it is not necessary that there when there will be conduction current there will be magnetic field even if the charge just will be varying the electric field will be varying they will also cause a magnetic field so magnetic field is not only the result of moving charges magnetic field can also be generated by varying the electric field of those charges and that's the beginning of electrodynamics excuse me sir can you discuss this negative sign again which one is negative sign the electron case to the minus distance now we when we put the negative sign Normally, when we put the negative sign in front of a derivative, we are actually compensating the decrease which is coming in it. Like a quantity is there, and that quantity is decreasing with time, so its derivative will come out to be negative. But how? Uh, like first you said the density is not decreasing, then you put minus sign, and you yes. see it's decreasing. Yes. Here. Yes. Here I told that you don't need this one if you say that the density is increasing. So what will be the effect of it? Minus here, okay. Right with this one. If I don't write this one, for example, then what will happen? This one will be coming out. This one will be coming out here. It will be minus. Then here it will be minus. So minus plus is nothing, but it is just addition. Then if it comes minus, then you will have to think of the actual situation. Then actually you are charging up is negative, not is positive. So negative is always you can see your reference problem, like. I say from me the distance is increasing toward you, but to you the distance is decreasing. From me it's increasing, but from you it's decreasing. The same problem we have with the potential as well. You write potential minus e dot d r. Why minus? Why not plus? Because it is all the reference issue. The when the field will be working, it should push the charge from reference point to infinity. But what you are doing, you are bringing the charge from infinity to the reference point. So it is just a matter of reference. Clear? Minus is just whether even if it is here. No change in magnetic flux is change in it. Now it is you who are saying it is going in and out. In and out is just my reference. While magnetic flux will change, you go in or you go out. So it is just my reference. Clear? So negative sign is always you need a reference. I can uh, give you another example of this thing. If you are okay. Just understand from here. If you are throwing something up, G is positive or negative? Negative. 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 But if you are throwing it down, G is positive. G is not positive or negative. G is G. It is your reference point. Clear? Like now you will see where you are placing your reference point when you are saying like this. If here. If I, my reference point is on the ground, then the distance is increasing as it goes up. So G should be positive. G should be positive. You say like 